So welcome Life West community, Dr. Ron Oberstein coming at you with our weekly Life West podcast. And today I have a central fixture in our college, both uh, both figuratively and also uh, physically, right? You know, coming from us from student life, we have the one and only Danny Lorta. So welcome to the podcast, Danny. Thank you. I'm so happy to be here. Uh, we are thrilled to have you. And I know our students know you because you know, obviously you're doing orientation and they get to know you there. And then, and then you know, also with all, everyone around campus. But, you know, I want people to kind of, first of all, share with me this, share with us, with our, with our, you know, our audience, anything new happening in student life right now, or is there anything you want to share going on with student life? Sure. I think the biggest news is that student life is open. We are available. And even though we may not be on campus all the time, we are still here to serve you um, virtually, in person, however it is that you need. So that is the biggest message I want to send out. And then I just want to encourage everyone on campus to participate in all of the great activities happening this quarter. We have a lot of wonderful, exciting things planned that you can participate in person or you can in person participate in virtually and we would just love to have lots of participation yeah and i know that student life along with you know uh student council of course right and and uh diana right and nolan and all the things that are going on there's so much happening our students just you know when you're on campus it's different because you see signs everywhere but just they got to, you know, just become aware and start participating, right? Because that's the cool thing that's happening. All year, we have these major things during our birthday year, right? Our 40th yeah. anniversary. So, and so, Danny, let's do this. Let's let's move into like a different space for a second. And I really want our viewers to kind of know who is Danny? You know, like, like you know, where did you grow up? And 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 just kind of delve in and give us a glimpse of, you know, of, of where, you know, who Danny uh, is and where Danny came from and all that kind of stuff. Sure. So I am probably as local as you can get to the Bay Area. Um, my great grandfather was a homesteader in Mount Shasta City. Um, and then eventually the family made it to the Bay Area. My parents both grew up in the Bay Area. I was born in the Bay Area. I grew up in Union City, um, took horse camp by your house. Um, <laughs> I was a Girl Scout. Uh, we moved to Castro Valley when I was in high school. I went to high school in Hayward. Um, I went off to Moraga on the other side of the hill for a few years for college and then eventually made my way back. So um, I love the Bay Area. I love living here. And um, you know, fun fact, I used to work for a member of Congress as a field rep and the Bay Area was my territory. So my job was to know everything about everything. Um, and so I, I am... Uh, kind of a wellspring of random information about things in the Bay Area. I love it. We're going to be able to use you for like tri trivia, right? Bay Area trivia. You know, <laughs> totally. And, and it's interesting because you were at my house that, that, you know, where I live and you looked out the back window. I remember one time where we might have been in the backyard and you and there's water back there now, like it's part of the Bay. And, and you had said, I, horse camp was right over there. Mm -hmm. We used to ride horses, right? That kind of thing. And that yeah. was all built up, of course, and it's and it's different. But, you know, it's so cool because you are homegrown, right? And, you know, homegrown in the city, homegrown in the Bay. Um, and you just, I don't even want to say you have roots. You have like, you know, what's deeper than roots, right? If, you're, if your <laughs> grandparents were homesteaders. Um, but it is, you've just done such amazing things at the college. And I know you have a passion, you know, for working with people. You have a passion, a love, you know, for, 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 and your communication skills are just absolutely impeccable. And you've brought up, you know, the new things that you brought, you know, the restorative justice and, and these policies that are, that are coming about to take care of all the archaic stuff that's that, that not that we've only had, but everyone's had, right. You know, about, mm -hmm. you know, three strikes and you're out kind of stuff instead of doing restorative where did this come from? Not just restorative, but just, you know, your ability to communicate and love of people, you know? Sure. Um, you know, I think it comes from the schools that I went to. I went to Moreau Catholic High School in Hayward, and that was a big part of my growing up in that sense of community and um, care for other people. I have a degree in religious studies, so that's that's definitely a piece of it. Um, but also I have a master's degree in counseling. Um, and I think that 
while I, you know, I didn't end up pursuing my license, that foundation that I have as a counselor, as a therapist um, in training, um, really informs how I communicate with people and what my priorities are, because my priority is connection. My priority is making sure that everybody has what they need in an appropriate way so that they can be as successful as they want to be. Yeah. And um, that is so, yeah. that is so empowering, you know? Um, I mean, obviously when you got to the college, you know, so empowering for the people you're dealing with, if that's, that's what the goal of the connection is, right? To make sure that they have what they need so they can be successful. They can be the best that they can be, right? It's just, mm -hmm. it's incredible. And obviously when you came to the college, I mean, you had no idea, you know, about give, do, love, serve, our ethos, right? That kind of stuff, but it must have fit. Did it just kind of fit for you or how, how, that, how did that kind of weave into your life? Um, I actually stopped in my tracks when I saw it and thought, wow, this is powerful. This is um, a vision of the way that I want to work, the way that I want to engage with other people. And um, if I can be aligned with the mission of where I work, then, then it makes going to work really easy um, because we're all, we're all working toward the same goal. Yeah, absolutely. And I got to tell you, Danny, you have done a masterful job, I, and I really mean that. Yeah, you know, you. Life and how you relate with the students, and you know, it's it's just so beautiful to watch because these are doctors, right? They're going to be doctors, and and the way that you can, what they can what they learn from you. I mean, I hear this from the students, you know, especially student council, you know, and, and your leadership and how they can learn from that is just incredible because they're all going to be leaders in whether in their community. Um, you know, on a state level, on a country level, but also, you know, in their office, because they have all these patients coming in that they look to them for leadership. So thank you for being that, that beacon for them, you know, and being accessible to them. Thank you. That's yeah. my pleasure. You know, that's really personal for me, because I have a, a child who is sick, and we are around doctors all the time. So, I always think if I can help influence the way that our students interact with their patients and see them as human beings with families and fears and, and love and joy and all of those things, um, I can make a difference in their education, in their life, in their practice, and they can make a difference in their patients' lives. So um, that means a lot to me. Yeah. Yeah. And, 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 you know, what you just said is you're talking about being like humanistic, right? Compassionate. And, you know, as a, as a doctor and a healer, they, they go hand in hand, right? It's just, it's so there. So thank you, Danny. And we really appreciate all you're doing and everything that you're, as this new year rolls through for Life West, you know, starting in, uh, you know, this, this uh, 2021, being our 40th birthday and all the things that are going on that you're participating in with Student Life. We really appreciate everything. And, you know, from the last time you're with us, um, I always end these podcasts with, uh, I ask one question, you know, it can change at any given time. So whatever the answer is, it has to be coming from your heart or your mind right now. Out of the give, do, love, serve, the ethos of the college, lasting purpose, those four words, which word resonates with you right now, this particular moment, and why? It's always love because love encompasses all of those things. Yeah. And it comes from the heart. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. So true. So true. You know, if any of our listeners are, are Grateful Dead fans, you know, if you ever, you know, they, they had an acronym and it was T-R-A-I-L, TRAIL, right? And, mm -hmm. and what, T, what TRAIL meant was the real answer is love. That's yeah, what it meant. It's so awesome. true. Well, thank you, Danny. We appreciate you so much. And to our for our listeners today, um, make sure you get to Student Life. You know, when you're back on campus, like Danny said, or just virtually, you know, connect with Danny and connect with her team. You know, Loretta's in there, and Mimi's in there, and they've got such a wonderful team. Um, please don't just kind of be strangers. Reach out and connect right now. And usually, uh, non-COVID, there's just tons of people in Student Life hanging out on the couches and you know doing their do study in certain areas so it's just a vibrant 
vibrant place and it can still be vibrant in our hearts. So keep reaching out like that and uh, come back to us, you know, come back and listen to our podcast next week. And uh, from Danny, Laura, and myself, when we care about you and we think the world of you and we want to make sure that, that uh, every day of your life, you're living from a purpose driven space and um, keep doing what you're doing and live your life from above down inside out. So until next week, we will, uh, our next podcast, we'll come back at you. So thanks so much. And Danny, thanks for being with us today.